Hello developers, welcome back to Fortune Dev Academy. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the Google Translate API, which will allow you to translate to whichever language directly from your website. So hope you're excited. If you are, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, this video is sponsored by NordVP. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not relevant enough to have a sponsor yet. <laughs> What's up, guys? So we're going to be building this out from scratch together. So we're going to do a lot of debugging and if we run it well as don't judge no editing will be done later <clears throat> so let's just get straight to it so this is the api we're going to be using the google translate official api on rapid api i'll leave the link to this so don't worry so what i'm more interested in is this translate endpoint so i can go ahead and test this endpoint for you you might get uh, on the user interface something like subscribe to test so that will probably mean you just need to add your card details, but it's done once and you'll be good to go. So as I can see, I have a lot of data here, but I'm more interested in this translation um, array. So I can see the translated text will be in here. So I'm good to go. So what I need next, I'm just going to go into code snippets. Then I want PHP code snippets. So I'm just going to scroll down. You can pick for whichever language uh, that you are more uh, interested in. So I'm going to go with Carl, but you also have HTTP version 1 and version 2. So you can go ahead and copy whichever you wish. So let me just go ahead and copy that. Then I'm just going to head into my text editor, which is Visual Studio Code, the best editor in the goddamn world. Shut up, you don't know about what you're talking about using Notepad++. plus plus. You're missing out. So let me just call this Google. A translate google translate so i'm just going to in here in the body let's just create an a form so that we'll be able to get this uh from the from the user so i'm just creating a form that the action is going to be translate.php let me just use index.php and the method is post so post and okay, every, pretty much everything is okay, but I'm just going to change this from from the name to maybe uh, the translate translation or something translation. Then input type submit value translates wait cut end submit. So that's pretty much okay, but I want this to be in some kind of container. So let me just do that. So let me create a card or something. Then I'm just going to put uh, the entire form into this particular card. Yeah, just like that. So pretty much for the markup, let's just keep it like that. Pretty basic. So what I'm going to do next is I need some PHP tags to actually. So let me just paste it right here. Sorry. So let's go back copy that one more time then I just go I'm just going to paste it right here and then close off this PHP tags and that's okay that's okay so what this is is it's basically checking in um, what is in this post field so as you can see the query probably this queue is uh, the text that you wish to be translated and the targets the target is this espanol espanol so let's just go ahead and change some of this so i want this to be dynamic so first of all i don't want this code to be running every time i visit this page so let's go ahead and fix that and that's going to be very simple so just in uh, in here the first line we're going to do an if statement then we're going to check if somebody has clicked that submit button so if is set and then what you're going to do is pass in the global variable post so global variable post and i'm more interested to check if someone has clicked the submit so just pass in submit and open to such a brackets so let me just go ahead okay and get rid of this so i'm just going to cut it and i'm going to paste it right here like such and pretty much this will not run 
unless someone has uh, pressed the submit button. So what I'm going to do now <coughs> is I need this particular uh, variables that I get from the submit in in the in the input fields. I need them to be in some form of variable. So from here I'm going to get this input type text of name of translation. So let me just go ahead and declare such a variable. So I'm, I'm just going to say variable Jesus. This is copilot. So variable translation is going to be equal to the same global variable, which means I'm just accessing this from post. Then I'm just going to pass in translation, just like that. So basically now I have this particular variable. So that means I can now use it directly within my code. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is right here in the query, I'm going to concatenate this string with my particular variable, which is not the best practice, but uh, it's the simple way to get this done right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to change these quotes from being double quotes to single. You'll see why this is important. Then I'm just going to go into this hello world, hello world target right here. Get rid of that. Put in another quote, one more. Then I'm now going to concatenate this uh, with variable uh, translation. Just like that. And voila, we're good. We're good. We're good. Using hit tag, and then just do a style like that. Then in here, let's go ahead and start modifying this particular code. So first of all, I want to target the body. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a height of about 100 pixels, over 100 view height. Then I'm going to give the width obviously to be 100%. Then I'm just going to go into the, the card, not the container. So card. And then we're just going to go with some of those preset styling. Then for the form, let's just go ahead and style this as well. So this is not the selector I need, just need that. And also let's do a little bit of styling for the input fields. So that's the styling for that input field. And we're pretty much done for this. I'm, I'm pretty, let me add a H1 uh, to this. Let me add a H1. Let me just add a H1 right here. So I'm just going to input, I'm going to do a center tag. But first of all, let's see what we have so far. So if I head back to the browser and then visit that URL one more time. So we have like this huge uh, looking input field, but now at least it doesn't look that bad. But let me just go ahead and add this H1. So I'm just going to do a center tag. And then within the center tag, I'm just going to input a H1. So just a header. And then I'm just going to say Google Translate. And let me just look for an emoji that looks relevant. Don't cancel me. This one will work. Okay, so pretty much okay to that point. So let's go ahead and look at that. So it's not the best looking user interface, but it will do. It will do. It will do for this particular case. So what I'm going to do is let me just change the background. This looks a little bit uh, plain. So let me just go ahead and give it a background, a background color of maybe coral. So let me just give it coral. That's okay. So refresh the page. Yeah, so this is okay. This, this doesn't look bad. So next up, next up, next up, we're pretty much done 
uh, when it comes to styling this because this is not a CSS tutorial if you want that there are plenty on the channel so so now we have we're getting the data from this input field once we hit the submit button so now let's go into our PHP and make sure we're handling this correctly so uh, once we pass in the translation here uh, we're going to get the response because um, if error equal that else yeah, equal the response so I'm just going to say uh, data let me create a new variable let me just say variable data it's just going to be uh, the JSON the code so I, I need this to be in JSON format so that way I'm just going to be able to access this data directly so I can get the translated text so now that I have this translated text I now have it in variable translated so I can go ahead and print this out to the user interface but the thing is this variable is not available outside this this particular uh, if statement which means that I will always get an error once I reload this page. So let me just do an else statement. And then within the else statement, I'm just going to say else the translated is equals to an empty string. So that's okay. I'm going to do now is um, under this H1, under this H1, I'm just going to add another, let me just copy this. And uh, I'm just going to change this to an H3, okay? And uh, let me just go ahead within this. I'm going to open up some PHP tags. Then I'm just going to say echo uh, variable uh, translated. Just like that. So that should work. That should work. Hopefully, cross your fingers and legs if you, if you prefer. <laughs> So let's reload that and say hello my friend, same thing, and then just submit. Okay, we definitely have an error somewhere. Just not seeing it what's going on because of this dumb mistake. <laughs> <coughs> we missed to just add um, in this input type submit, but you submit. Just go ahead and add name <laughs> submit just like that. Like god damn, like what, what am I even thinking? Okay, so let's <laughs> let's give that another while. So let's go ahead, same thing. Hello my friend, and hit on submit. Hola mi amigo. Hola, mi amigo. <laughs> so let me just let me just add this to. Let me do green. Uh -huh. Then maybe I'm just going to add some quotes or something to this. So yeah, let me just add some quotes. Maybe like that. Like that. Perfection. Perfection. Now let's go ahead and visit the page again. Then I'm just going to say hello, my enemy, and submit. Hola, mi enemigo. Hola. I, uh, okay, I don't know why I'm doing an accent. So, <laughs> so let's do some more. Let's do some more. Maybe, maybe subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel submits subscribe the al canal i don't know what that means anyway hope you guys found a lot of value from this tutorial and if you did be sure to give me a like subscribe to the channel and as always stay hydrated i'll see you guys in the next one peace out